This is the story of Ant and Bee and the Secret. One day, Ant and Bee found two old pieces of chalk. One piece of chalk was white and short and fat, and one piece of chalk was red and long and thin. Ant and Bee said they would keep the two pieces of chalk that nobody wanted, but Ant and Bee both liked the white piece of chalk best. So B asked Ant if they could play the choosing game to see who could have the piece of white chalk. Ant said yes. So B hid the two pieces of chalk in his hands behind his back and then B asked Ant to choose which hands he wanted. And the hands that Ant chose held the piece of red chalk. B said the piece of red chalk was as red as Ant. Suddenly Ant was pleased he had the piece of red chalk. Then B said he would draw a hopscotch game. Ant and B liked hopscotch. Then Ant said he would draw a hopscotch game with his piece of red chalk. But the hopscotch game that Ant drew was very odd. B said Ant was stupid because Ant did not know how to draw a straight line. Ant got cross and Ant ran away. And then B could not find Ant anywhere. Where had Ant gone? When would Ant come back? Ant came back in the afternoon. B was so pleased when Ant came back that he gave Ant a small party. B asked if Ant went somewhere nice. Ant said yes, but Ant would not tell B where he had gone. Ant said it was a secret, his secret. Afterwards, Ant said he would draw a new hopscotch game and Ant drew his hopscotch game very well. B was so surprised. Now Ant could draw straight lines like B. While they played hopscotch, B asked Ant how he had learned to draw nice straight lines. But Ant would not tell B. Ant said it was his secret. Ant would not tell his secret. And while they played, Ant told B not to call him stupid ever again. But on another day, B did call out stupid again, and this is what happened. On another day, it was very cold. So B said to Ant that they should skip to keep warm. But Ant got all twisted up with his skipping. And B said Ant was stupid because Ant skipped so badly. Ant got cross and Ant ran away. Ant ran away so quickly that B could not catch him. And then B could not find Ant anywhere. As it was a cold day, B had to skip while he looked for Ant. B was lonely as he skipped around without Ant. Where had Ant gone? When would Ant come back? Ant came back in the afternoon. B was so pleased when Ant came back that he played the game that Ant liked best. B asked if Ant went to the same nice place as before. Ant said yes, but Ant would not tell B where he had gone. Ant said it was a secret, his secret. Afterwards, Ant said he would skip with B, and Ant skipped very well. B was so surprised Ant could skip as well as B. While they skipped, B asked Ant how he had learned to skip so well, but Ant would not tell B. Ant said it was his secret, and would not tell his secret. And while they played, Ant told B not to call him stupid ever again. But on another day, B did call out stupid and this is what happened. On another day, it was foggy. So B told Ant that they must tell stories at home as it was too foggy to play outside. But Ant muddled up all his stories. B said Ant was stupid because Ant told stories so badly. Ant got cross and Ant ran away. It was so foggy that B did not see which way Ant went and then B could not find Ant anywhere. B did not see where he was flying in the fog and B bumped into Kind Dog. B told Kind Dog all about Ant running away to a secret place. Where had Ant gone? When would Ant come back? Ant came back in the afternoon. Kind Dog and B were so pleased when Ant came back that they danced and sang. Kind Dog and B asked if Ant went to the same nice place as before. Ant said yes, 
that Ant would not tell Kind Old and Bee where he had gone. Ant said it was a secret, his secret. Afterwards, Ant said he would tell a story. And then Kind Dog and Bee were so surprised because Ant told them a new story. Bee and Kind Dog asked Ant how he had learned such a good new story, but Ant would not tell them. Ant said it was his secret. Ant would not tell his secret. So Kind Dog told Bee that on the next day, they must say that Ant was stupid. Then when Ant got cross and ran away, Kind Dog would chase Ant and find out where Ant went. So on the next day, this is what happened. On the next day, it was hot and windy. So Bee and Kind Dog told Ant that they must all go on a picnic as it was such a lovely sunny day. Bee asked Ant to make some picnic sandwiches. Then Bee and Kind Dog said Ant was stupid because Ant made silly sandwiches. Ant was not really stupid and his sandwiches were not silly, but Kind Dog and Bee were just trying to make Ant cross. Ant did get cross and Ant ran away. But Bee and Kind Dog did not see which way Ant went because the wind blew and covered the hats over their eyes. So then Kind Dog said he would use his special nose to smell where Ant had gone. Kind Dog said he knew which way Ant had gone and suddenly Bee saw some footprints. Bee said the footprints must belong to Ant and Ant did not know that Kind Dog and Bee were on their way to find him. And the footprints led to a house called school. Kind Dog and Bee were so surprised. Was school the secret place that Ant liked so much? Was school the secret place that made Ant clever? Then Kind Dog and Bee knew that Ant was inside the school because they saw him inside a schoolroom. There he is in the window. Bee said they must hide till Ant came out of school. Then Kind Dog and Bee would say, boo. When Ant came out of school, Kind Dog and Bee both went, boo. Ant was so surprised and then they all laughed a lot because Ant did not have a secret anymore. Bee and Kind Dog said they were sorry for making Ant cross, but Bee and Kind Dog said they were glad they had found out the secret. And then they all went off on a water picnic and had a wonderful time.